Ken Whiting with Paddle TV with another in-depth, unbiased gear review. And to solve a question or to answer a question I know a lot of you have had. What would you get if a kayak and a sup mated? You've asked that one, haven't you? Well, that's what you'd get. This is the aisle switch. It is an inflatable kayak and stand-up paddleboard. So for those people who have had the real challenge of trying to decide whether to go for a stand-up paddleboard or a recreational kayak, Isle thinks they've solved that problem by creating one boat board that does both. So I'm gonna get this thing inflated while I tell you a bit more about it. The Isle 11 foot 6 Switch Kayak Paddleboard has a retail price of 995 US dollars. It's 11 feet 6 inches long. It's 35 inches wide. It weighs 19 pounds or 8.5 kilograms. And it has a capacity of 425 pounds or 193 kilograms. The Switch comes with a two way high capacity hand pump with gauge a premium travel backpack, an eight foot ankle or calf coil leash, a repair kit, a dry bag, and a hybrid four piece adjustable kayak and SUP paddle. It also comes with a removable nine inch fin, an inflatable kayak seat, and an inflatable foot brace. The Switch features two new exclusive aisle innovations. They're AirTech Fusion Light inflatable technology, which lets them create drop stitch inflatables that are 25% lighter than standard inflatables. It also has their iLink Connect system for almost limitless customization. It has a full coverage traction pad. It has bungee systems on the front and back of the boat slash board with tension locks for repositioning or removing the bungees altogether. Well, I'll be honest, I'm really not one to get overly excited about an inflatable stand-up paddleboard, but in this case, I'm, I'm really liking the looks of the Switch, and for a couple of reasons. First of all, after pumping this thing up and then lifting it, 19 pounds. I mean... It is so wonderfully light. I mean, I don't typically have a problem moving heavy kayaks around, but that doesn't mean I don't really appreciate a light kayak. And it's a treat to move this thing around. I also really like the looks so far of this, the, their Isle Link Connect system, which really provides infinite customization opportunities here. I mean, you can completely take off the bungees. You can add the seat, the foot braces. You can actually even, uh, if you want, you can buy a second seat and foot brace and use this as a tandem. Or you could have a stand-up paddler in the back and put the seat up front. Or you could even turn the seat around so the person sitting, you're face to face. I mean, that's that was the purpose of the switch. And just looking at it, I get it now. And it actually took me putting this thing together and seeing it to go, oh, okay, I really get the customizing opportunity and potential of this thing. I like the looks of it. The true test is getting it on the water. And in fact, an even better test is getting this thing on the water with the family. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this thing on a real test. I'm heading to a local river. I've never done it before. I don't know anybody that has done it before. It's gonna be an exploratory. Hopefully it doesn't end up too much of adventure, but we're gonna give this aisle switch a real testing. So let's do it. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't see that there. Yeah. 
Well, we've been on the water now for seven hours. So I think it's fair to say that the aisle switch has been reviewed. And I mean, cutting straight to the chase, I have to say this has been such a tremendous boat board for this type of adventure. Absolutely loved it. Before I go into depth about stability, comfort, performance, all that jazz, let's hear what Nicole and Chelsea think about this boat. I love this craft. Um, again, I've been, I've been in kayaks, I've been in canoes, I've been whitewater kayaks, flatwater kayaks, sea kayaks. And for this particular activity, or even like I would definitely gravitate to this kind of activity because of this craft. Like it is so comfortable. And the fact that you can so quickly move from a kayak paddle to a stand-up paddle, uh, can reconfigure uh, where you want to be seated, your foot straps. You can lounge on it if you want to have a little nap. Um, it's super stable. And if you've got others that have the same model, you can raft up and you have a picnic on the river. Um, yeah, I, I, this is uh, like top marks. A, a, a plus 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 um, for me. I, I love this craft and I can't wait to try it out on other rivers and other lakes as well. What I like about the switch is that you can switch spots from lying to sitting to sitting to standing and so on. It's comfortable. It's very comfortable and adjustable. Um, it can also be for two, two people. It's not unbalanced in any other way. The switch is the, definitely the right name for this craft. All right, so let's break it down a bit more. Let's start by talking about the stability of the switch. Is it a stable kayak or board? Absolutely. This thing is rock solid stable. I mean, it's a it's a wide board. It should be stable. It's flat. That's what it's one of the things it's designed for and in, it does it. We had the three of us, Nicole, Chelsea and I on this board. All three of us could have stood up. I don't think we tried that, but it totally would have worked. Um, now it's still a bit of a challenge. You know, it's a stand up paddle board. It's, it's not just, it's not a dock. And so <laughs> there was even one point where Chelsea and I got a little bit too comfortable with things and ended up on our butts, <laughs> but fortunately not in, in the river. But yeah, wonderfully stable. Now, comfort, uh, what can I say? Like ultra comfortable, it's wide so you can sit in any position. I can sit cross-legged, what have you. Now, I love this seat is fantastic. The seat, the couple of things that are great about it, it's inflatable. So you can have as much air as you want in there. We started with, the, with quite a bit of air in here and then we just ended up letting some air out of these seats and it made it made them conform to our butts better and much more comfortable so you just have to be careful when you do let the air out <laughs> when you're on the water if you don't have a pump with you let the air out very slowly because you can't put air back in also you're elevated not only is it comfortable but you're elevated which means your feet are elevated so that's a natural position to be in than when you're sitting down and your feet are at the same level as your butt great comfort that way too i like the foot brace system that's in in this boat it's you know it's a nice big provides broad support that it's great uh and combined with that you know when when it comes to comfort, the number of attachment points, the, the Isle Connect system they have on this really makes, uh, it allows you to customize it to fit any body type or any length of leg. I mean, there's, you could be seven foot five and still be totally comfortable on this board. And it's capacity, there's no problem with that too. You could comfortably sit in this thing up to, I don't even know how big, but it, you'd be hard pressed to be too big for this boat board whatever i don't even know what to call this thing um performance pleasantly surprised with performance typically a stand-up paddle board like this without a big you know a v nose and a v hull or rounded hull something that's designed to for speed and is has got more length i i don't expect it to perform very well at all but i was really surprised at how much forward speed this thing actually carried. I mean, we're not talking, it's not a race boat or anything like that, but 
it actually does quite well. The large fin, I think it's a nine inch fin that's in the, in the bottom, really helps this thing track. In fact, it, when you're moving, it can actually, you know, in terms of maneuverability, it can be slow to turn. It can be, it turns very fast when you're actively turning, but as soon as your blade stops, that fin engages and your boat stops turning. It's a, it's a unique feel and, and most stand up, stand up paddle boards are like that when it's not the bow that's providing any of the, any um, traction in the water. It's just the fins that are holding the, the, uh, the that are stopping the boat from just from spinning. So it, it performed very well, better than I was expecting. Now the features of this hybrid watercraft, you know, let, well, let's walk through them. First of all, the aisle connect system, which is these attachment points, the whole length, both sides of the board, so that you can place the, uh, place the seat, the foot, bra uh, foot braces anywhere you want, but also you attach the bungee systems, whether you want them or not, front and back. Any other system, you want to tie things down. It's a wonderfully customizable system and you could even completely take this thing off uh, all the bungees off everything off and have a have just a nice clean board with traction pads great for people that that like sup yoga i mean and the way the seat gosh i just love the customizability of this thing we used it in so many different ways on this trip we had the seat backwards we had the seat forward in the front we had the seat in the back we had one person standing in the back and one person sitting in the front one person standing in the front one person sitting in the back we had three people on the board two people sitting one person standing we had so many different uh, different ways of paddling this thing and they were all fun now something to, to note though it comes with one seat and one foot brace so if you do want to use it as a tandem kayak you do have to buy and they sell the a second seat and a second foot brace if you want that yeah i love that the features the uh the paddle that also comes with it it's actually a, a totally fine paddle it's it's a three-piece paddle it's got the centerpiece and then it's got two kayak blades but then it also comes with this sucker here this uh, stand-up paddle shaft that you remove one of the kayak blades and put that in instead and now you've got a stand up paddle blade that's wonderful and if you didn't notice there it even has a nice little paddle holder on the side of the boat to hold it i have said enough about features but i am i was once again i was really surprised by how much i enjoyed the customizability i often especially kayak anglers they really value um, customizing kayaks for their type of fishing needs this is the first time I've really appreciated the customizability of a kayak for family needs. And just, not just family needs, but for having a different experience on an experience, rather than having a different experience one trip and then a different experience another trip. You can have different experiences throughout a trip, and that's cool. All right, so overall value, 995 US dollars. Now. That is not, it's not a cheap inflatable stand-up paddleboard. There's a lot of much cheaper uh, inflatable stand-up paddleboards on the market. But you are paying a premium for uh, a couple of things. You're paying a premium for the quality of the board and all the, the features that this thing has. This, this has been really well thought out. You're paying a premium for the, the seat the seat is not only do you, is it inflatable in the back, but the, the high backrest, everything is really well designed on this, this board. You are paying a premium for that, but you're getting a premium inflatable stand up paddle board that can do more, way more customizable than typical inflatable stand up paddle boards. So it's, I feel the value is definitely there. Is it, for everyone well that's what we need to talk about next who is this for well it, it, very simply it's for people who are willing to pay a little bit more money pay a premium for a premium inflatable stand-up paddleboard slash kayak for people who can't decide whether they want a, a stand-up paddleboard or a recreational kayak uh, it's for people who love the idea of doing what 
what Nicole Chelsea and I did and just changing it up and paddling it in so many different ways. And it's not even paddling it, enjoying it in so many different ways. And so that's who this is for. And I think that's all I got to say about this. I'm, my final note is two thumbs up. I'm a fan. I'm a very surprised fan. I wasn't expecting to enjoy this board boat as much as I did. And it might have a little bit to do with the fact that I got to test it with my family on a genuine, really cool paddling adventure. Yeah, that might have swayed me a little bit, but but I still believe this is a wonderful, wonderful boat board. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already and stay tuned because we have a ton more paddling tips, gear reviews and paddling adventures. Speaking of which, make sure to watch the adventure that we went on here, the Paddle Tales adventure. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description box down below and all the footage that you saw of this boat, of this board in use came from that Paddle Tales episode. I hope you enjoy it.